Hello everyone, this is Siddharth from Ants India and today I'm going to show you how I plan on feeding my Myrmsine ant colony which is most likely Solenopsis aka Fire Ant, so wish me luck. So this is a simple setup that I have created using just a regular plastic box with two holes cut in it on opposite ends as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is um, attach the ant colony stress tube to one of these holes, plug the other side with cotton and then as you can see after opening this up, I'm going to place their food in here. Now what this does is it makes it easier to add and remove food for the colony since this colony is pretty young, I mean it only has two workers as of this recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Vaseline to the sides and the top of the container to make sure that the ants don't get out and I also have one, two, three, four and five. So I have five uh, air holes poked in the top of the container to make sure that the ants get circulating air. So this design was actually inspired by the Ants Canada test tube portal which is well it's somewhat similar it's basically uh, a portal which can be used to you know connect four test tubes or like four pieces of piping for your ants so yeah that this is how i'm going to be feeding them and this is also going to be used for the great worm scene ant experiment where i'll be attempting to combine two queens so what i'm going to be doing is one queen's test tube will be in here in this portal, the others in here, and then the workers will slowly make their way into the other test tube. I first contact with the queen, and either make a two queen super colony, or you know, they'll all die out, which I'm really hoping won't happen. And what I'm going to be uh, also be doing is adding a little bit of dirt, just a little bit to the bottom over here, just to you know, give the ants a medium to walk on. So yeah, this and as far as how I made this, what I did was I took one of the test tubes and then marked its diameter on both the sides and then I used uh, a hot knife and a screwdriver to just melt away these two holes. And I actually have multiple sizes of small test tubes so one of these holes is bigger than the other to accommodate for both sizes. And that's pretty much it about this portal i'll probably be making another one as my ant colony you know gets bigger so that i can then attach all of these and make a network of test tubes and portals but that'll be a video for another time as for right now thanks for watching so i decided to add this video on right at the end before ending this video officially to show you guys this ant setup in action so here I have my Solenopsis Queen, sorry for the blurry images. And as you can see she now actually has three workers, kind of three workers. One as you can see is right to the right of her and there are two under her and they are actually tending to the brood which is a really good sign since I was pretty suspicious that this queen might be infertile, but turns out she isn't, which is amazing for the great Myrmesine ant experiment, which I shall be doing a video on shortly once this colony gets some more workers. Now here, as you can see, is the test tube setup. I have one end plugged with cotton, and inside is the ant's first meal. I'll be changing that every few days, and what it is, is a little bit of peanut butter and a bit of honey. And at the top of the, well, on the lid, what I have right now is some Vaseline and as well as on the sides of the container and this entire setup is inside a little um, chocolate box which I've lined with newspaper to uh, increase friction so that this entire setup doesn't slide. Now I've actually had a lot of problems with sliding uh, test tube setups in the past so I decided to do this to prevent that and the ants seem to be loving it. I mean the workers went from two to three so I guess I am doing something right. So yeah, that's all for now. Remember to like, comment and subscribe for more and thank you for watching.